2020 vision, key tips for the COVID-19 pandemic. Presented by representatives from the ProMedica Financial Opportunity Center, the ProMedica Federal Credit Union, and Primerica. Our mission, the problem, people do not plan to fail, they fail to plan. Because generally speaking, you are working with various professionals who are not working together and don't know your situation from the start to finish. The solution, ProMedica Financial Opportunity Center, the ProMedica Federal Credit Union and Primerica have come together to provide you a cohesive step-by-step -step guide to your finances. Key tip for today, the ProMedica Federal Credit Union, the ProMedica Financial Opportunity Center, and Primerica are bringing you resources, steps, and tips for the COVID-19 pandemic. We will bring you a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you through this very tough time. My name is Rick Purs, and I am a financial coach at the ProMedica Financial Opportunity Center. Today, I'm going to give you a tip that will help you through the COVID-19 pandemic. But first I wanna go over a quick overview of what the ProMedica Financial Opportunity Center has to offer. Now more than ever, the ProMedica FOC team are committed to the families, adults, and seniors we serve and who are among the most vulnerable in our community. The ProMedica FOC provides employment and career counseling, one-on-one -on -one financial coaching and education, low-cost financial products that help build credit, savings, and assets. They also connect clients with access to public benefits such as food stamps, utilities assistance, food pantries, hospital hardships, and many other community resources. We are here in only a phone call or an email away to help you in this hard time. Please use our information below. Today's key tip is credit protection during the COVID-19 pandemic. Federal COVID-19 response legislation does not automatically offer relief or protection around consumer or non-student loan debt. Some individual private lenders have established their own assistance policies, so please contact the bank or creditor for details. For reference, the American Bankers Association is keeping a list of publicly stated steps that banks have taken to respond to COVID-19. The CARES Act does state that if a creditor makes an accommodation to defer, forbear, modify, or provide other assistance on loans, then the payments will be reported to credit reporting agencies as current. This will extend for either the next four months or for four months after the date that the National Emergency Declaration is terminated. The keys to this information is that most creditors are not required to give you a plan or a program. So you must call them up and see what they have to offer for you. Please be open with your communication, open with your situation, and they'll be more willing to help. It's very, very important to understand that creditors are looking for their money back. So if they feel that you're going to pay them back, they're more willing to help. If you dart their communications and you don't talk to them, then they're not feeling that way and they're not more willing to help. Just something to think about. Finally, with the CARES Act, we have to understand that if they do do a modification, they have to report your file as current. So this is a huge positive for everyone. Finally, make sure you know what the end date is for these plans or programs. It is your responsibility to know when the date ends and when you're responsible to start making payments again. Credit protection continued. The majority of lenders are not making payment accommodations automatically. Borrowers must contact their creditor for each individual account. The CARES Act provision that modified payments will be reported to credit bureaus as current only applies to accounts that are current prior to the lender approving the modification. Accounts that were delinquent prior to the payment arrangement will continue to report as late to the credit reporting bureaus. The biggest thing is, is you must contact them and talk to them. They will not offer you these plans automatically. 
make sure you're doing this, talking to your providers, talking to your creditors, and mentioning things like COVID. If you mention COVID while talking to them, they will help you and they will report all of your accounts as being on time if you mention COVID. And this could includes a lot of things in regards to maybe you're not making payments at this time, or maybe you're making just partial payments. They will report in a positive nature if you mention COVID. Just another key to help. Thank you very much and have a great day.